Hey, so I've long wanted to do reaction videos on YouTube, but you know, fantasy football really doesn't allow for that. On a can, I don't grind tape, and um, most podcasts are way too long. Uh, fortunately for you, me, and uh, the world, uh, Kuda Doodle, at Kuda Doodle recently uh, in introduced her? No, I recently interviewed her on my podcast, actually, Dynasty Crossroads, plugging, I guess. But she does a, a podcast on YouTube called Petite Pods, which I'm told means they're exceptionally short. I don't know. I know what language that is. Uh, but I got asked to go on it. And uh, I said yes, and it's a really short. Po it's like three minutes. Oh, I thought maybe that would work. So that's what would that's what we're doing. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna rewatch. This is not a live reaction. So <laughs> screw you. <laughs> I've listened to every one of those podcasts repeatedly over and over again because she's hilarious, and um, somehow she managed to make it seem like I was almost hilarious or almost funny. And uh, so that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Uh, yeah, come come watch this podcast with me, and if you don't already, then you can go and watch all, all of her others, because they're great. Alright, I don't, like, this is it. This is a setup I came up with, and let's turn on this desktop volume and see if that works, and, uh, yeah, let's uh, watch a petite pod with me, yeah, me. Kelvin Benjamin went from being an irrelevant wide receiver in fantasy football to an irrelevant tight end in fantasy football in the matter of one tweet. If you think that's quick, you should check out this podcast. Too soon. Way too soon, Kuda. <laughs> Damn, dang. She put this whole thing in like a spreadsheet um, theme and uh, I love it. We're no longer beefing. And um, he's really just the knower of all things, <laughs> numbers and spreadsheets. So welcome in, Peter Howard. Hey, Mrs. Uh, Kuda Doodle. Appreciate you having me on. Big fan. Happy to be here. Uh, this is literally the first podcast appearance or anything I've ever rewatched, by the way. And uh, I remember why. Look at, look at that ugly Look at that ugly guy. But also, um, there are several things I don't like about myself. Uh, but the one that shows up noticeably on these things is um, <laughs> not to get deep on you or anything. But I grew up with, uh, I had a very strong lisp. Um, and instead of, you know, it, it was the 80s. So instead of like being taught or practicing how to speak properly, I just had to do my find a way of not lisping so kids would stop making fun of me basically um and the way i uh, dealt with it this isn't all accent believe it or not um i i deliberately dull some sounds when i talk and um, because it stopped me lisping that's literally so i pronounce some words especially certain sounds like that one um in an odd way and because I know it, I can't not hear it. And when I say kudadoodle specifically, like every time I, pff, sorry, I just, I shouldn't be doing this. This is like torture. <laughs> Matthew Berry still around at all? Maybe? Oh, oh yeah, she had Matthew right Berry here. on. We're and, uh, best friends now. We hang out all the time. Wait for it. I mean, Maddie B, Mr. Mr. Roto, Mr. MB. I'm uh, about to be on the same I screen mean, as him, Matthew tell Berry. Tell Matthew how we're such good friends. Um... <laughs> Never mind, you don't have to tell them. They already know the answers, yes. Uh, so, Peter, if you were NFL that commissioner for a day, that what rule would you change? In a 24-hour period, I imagine I could rack up a lot of bribe money. Uh, so I, guess, I thought that was going to be uh, funnier than it was. Whatever the highest bid of the rule that they wanted changed first, that, that would be the rule I changed. It is completely true, yeah. though. That's what I would do. I would sell out immediately if it's not clear. That's that's what I would do. Agreed, past Pete. Since you've said in the past you don't root for any team specifically, who's a player that you're excited to see this season? Excited to watch. <laughs> Sorry, I I'm trying my best, but I don't I don't really understand that question. I had to go with the meme. All right, you know? I'll keep this next part short. Oh, I, I said meme. Um, also worth pointing out that I do not actually know the language of the kids. I, I, I think I, I fake a good game, but um, Kuda catches me out on it pretty hard. And it's pretty embarrassing. And also, I just I, I just want to say, this counts. I was technically on a podcast with Matthew Berry. Suck it, losers. You know? It's just... And I want you to just tell me yes or no. That. Would you want them on your team? 
I, I get the impression here that the names you've sent me aren't the names that you're going to say. My level of paranoia has jumped up 20-fold. Like, I don't know how I'm going to be memed right now, but I am uh, not so much excited as petrified to find out. Meme? You think I'll meme you? No. I like, literally just think just that means names? joke. Are you ready? I just, I'm just going to say uh, yes to all of those. Um, I thought yes. I was being so clever here, and I'm assuming you can just loop that for every every it's name coming. you're actually going to read, unless it's Terrence Marshall. <laughs> she literally memed me because so apparently you're a big Excel and spreadsheet guy. What's your favorite function? What's your favorite function? Yeah, I get that in hindsight, reflecting on the language I have co-opted from the youth, that meme is a specific type of joke. And I have just been using it to refer to all manner of jokes on the internet. And I am very old, and uh, yeah, that, that was hard. Um, well, it's a complicated relationship. Um, there's, I, I, I'm not sure I would say I like Excel, or that Excel likes me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite meme. <laughs> sort of editing. That actually looked oh no, pretty good. I like to keep this very organic. I don't do any editing. Um, speaking <laughs> of, how many more Super Bowls do you think Tom Brady has left in him? Eight. I stand by that, eight? by the way. Yeah, I like eight. Eight's a good number. All right, for uh, the That's sake the of question she fresh sent me. and changing it up, I'll Absolutely. let you close this one out. That was long and grueling, but, um, you know, we, we put in the time for your art, I guess. <laughs> she got me again. Again, I like this. I like that she put this spread, the whole spreadsheet theme on there. I appreciate that. And so that was Petite Pods. There are a whole bunch of them. Kuda Doodles channel, I guess, I'll link in the description y thing down below if you're interested. And I would be, because literally Matthew Barrow is actually on um, recently, or one of the last ones, as well as a whole bunch of other people that I really like. And uh, they are all hilarious. So I strongly recommend them. Um, and uh, now the climax, like the climax of this little video is that I took a three minute podcast and made it an eight minute podcast because I suck. I suck so hard. But, oh God, I'm going to get memed on that, aren't I? Now everyone's going to know I don't know what the word meme really means. She's got me. She, she, she beat me. It's fair. Um, and that's why the beef is over, as she said at the start of the podcast. We were beefing and she won. That's the, that's the simple truth. Anyway, um, I actually just really hope you go check out Kuda Donald's channel here because the, there is no more fun to be had in fantasy football podcast land. I'm sorry, the open bar. you done been co-opted. The open bar is still its very own type of special fun on YouTube that you can watch every Tuesday night at 9.30ish with J. Mike Check and uh, Gabe Gehring. FF Man Bun, the author behind all of the theme songs of your favorite po favorite podcasts, except for this one, um, who I believe Herms actually, uh, she doesn't even say. Okay, yeah, but it was Herms that did her little theme song here, and it's absolutely awesome. Um, but Kuda Doodle's channel, like three minutes at a time, and uh, get a good little giggle on with inside fantasy football jokes. Um, yeah, all right. So, yeah, I've made it nine minutes long now. I think that's good. I tripled the runtime win um so thanks again uh see you next time